Junk Monkey friends. It is Sonia and Matt on this wonderful day of love. Yes, for love. My husband's like, <laughs> true story. Day of love. Happy Valentine's Day. It's Sonia and Matt coming to you from Junk Monkey Paint Company, just south of Pittsburgh for all those who keep messaging us and say, where are you guys located? Lincoln Air PA, probably about 40 minutes south of Pittsburgh, thereabouts, depending on how heavy of a lead foot you have, okay? Let's be true. Let's be truthful. So, welcome aboard. As you guys pop on, say hello so we know who's with us. This is day six of the Paint a Piece of Furniture a Day with Milk Paint Challenge. You guys know we have a whole new line of milk paint, completely natural, and you guys have been asking, what's the difference between milk paint? What's, how does it compare to your chalky style paint? So, you know what? I thought, let's hang out for 20 days straight paint with each of the 20 of the colors that we offer over 20 different surfaces and you'll see for yourself the difference okay you guys know the chalky paint you know mr mr pickles he's got the muscles and then you've got petunia petunia is a fragile little monkey who's completely unpredictable you never know what she's going to get into she wears the tutu she's got the paintbrush in her tail she's holding a milkshake it is the milkshake milk paint of course right you guys know and love it and when we say it creates beautiful chippy furniture man did we get chippy last night right who was here we got chippy with it last night. Who was here and saw the chippiness go down? Like it was crazy chippy, right? But we brought it back. We brought it back thanks to some extra bond, which you guys know you can you can control your milk paint with that, right? So I'm gonna get started. I'll tell you what I'm doing, and then I'll turn it back over to Matt so he can go ahead and do some shout out so I know who's here with us. But it is the day of love, my friends, and so I thought we could paint pink. And it's funny, what are you shaking your head about? Let's be honest. What? We're celebrating the day of the execution of a Catholic saint in a very gruesome, horrific way. To give, it was made a holiday to cover up the original pagan holiday of where we would remove the entrails of animals and foretell the future. That sounds romantic. And then I don't Hallmark, know you, but that sounds romantic as yes, heck to me, right? Yes. And then so, Hallmark came in because their yes, shells were down yes. and figured they needed a holiday to... Okay. So I have a feeling that uh, Matt Sarge Miller here uh, might have some life lessons for us today. We'll see if he can like uh, share with us some life lessons that he has going down. So we'll see what won. happens, all right? <laughs> so anyway, let's get started. But let's go with something pink today. I was thinking pink, pretty and pink, all right? And plus, you guys have been asking, Sonia, you've got 20 colors, but I don't see like pink and pastels. Oh, my friends, you guys know, right? When colors combine, they make the most amazing colors. They give birth to all new colors. And so, okay, what color do we need to make pink? Help somebody out. What color do we need to make pink? Who knows it? You know it, right? We need red and white. And then you can do any sort of color of pink in between. So the more white you're going to add, the more pink it's going to get, right? Problem solved. So I have got, um, in a second, I'll have Matt show you what the colors look like on the color board so you kind of know and have a visual. Oh, look, there's a spoon already in here from the other night. Well, I better stick with my monkey spoon because that way we'll be even. Pull out the monkey spoon. This is one tablespoon, okay? This is, it comes in milk paint powder, which is true milk paint form. And we're going to do, let's just start with it, okay? Let's see. So how about if I do, um, let's start with one tablespoon. Let me see. One tablespoon of the <laughs> the red. Are you making fun of me again? No, I'm what? making fun of me. Of you. Oh, yeah. oh, there you go. That's your friends, man. Yeah. All right. Now here's the deal. To make pink, you got to have more white in with your red, right? Like you got to definitely have to do that. So we did one tablespoon of the uh, red ochre. Now I'm going to put in a tablespoon of the... Um, Iceberg white, which you guys know I'm from Canada, right? From Newfoundland. Oh man, I've seen lots of many icebergs and glaciers in my day. Who out there has seen one? So we're gonna let's just start with one, two, three of that. Okay, we'll do a three to one and see what sort of pink we get. And then we can kind of um, the cool thing is that you can adjust from there and do your own, own custom colors, right? So now we put three tables. Did I put three? No, put four in total now. Three white, one red. I'm pretty sure. All right. Friends, better. help me out. <laughs> It's the unpredictable paint, and you can be totally unpredictable too, right? There is nothing that is about like micromanaging. You can't mess this up. So let's go ahead and put four in of the water. So basically, you do the same with the water, equal to how many tablespoons you put in of the paint. And here's the cool thing: you can also adjust it as well, right? So we can kind of start there and see what color we get. All right. So let's do a blend. Let's do a blend. Let's do a blend. Oh my gosh, I kind of like this rose blush I'm already getting here. You guys see that? Not really. Rosette, you don't see pink? Look, it's no, pink, no, dude. No, no, you can't really see the way you had it. Okay, well, it's going to come out on white, the... 
white clinging to the side of the bottle. Gotcha. Well, look, look down. Look way, way down. Yes. What do you think of that blushy pink? That's pretty cool, right? So if I wanted to make it more pastel, I'm going to add more white, of course. Mm -hmm. um, but I kind of even like that part right there. So that's I've got to remember my measurement for that particular kind, which was three white to one of the red. All right. Do you want to show them real fast while this is setting up? What happens, by the way, is once you add your water, um, if you leave it over the next probably five to ten minutes, what happens is all the um, the color pigments starts to just really spread out through all the water, okay? And it sets up and it actually thickens the longer it stands. But at any given time, if I wanted to make this even like, uh, you know, as it sets up and I want to make it even more thinner, then I just add a little bit of water, okay? So there's nothing that is like crazy OCD. Just make the paint to the consistency that you like. All right, you want to show them two, uh, the two colors I used to get this, sure. this to get this blush? Sure. And then we're going to let it set up so we are doing the iceberg white and the red ochre directly underneath it yes. red ochre iceberg white we do have right. we do have that uh, did you show them the oyster the oyster, oyster white? show yeah, okay. no 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 foggy yeah the foggy yeah, we don't have yeah, the yeah, oyster we, yeah we were thinking about calling it that but we switched it um yeah. but anyway that's like a, almost like a gray white you guys see that yep Okay, and you see the mustard pickles? Show yeah, the mustard, the mustard pickles. pickles. It's on the, uh, it's up there, mustard pickles. Somebody posted a picture of actual mustard pickles today. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. You're talking about our friend Joanne. Yes. Fellow Newfoundlander. Yeah, fellow Canadian. <laughs> Absolutely. Mustard pickles are a big thing, okay? So, much like, you know, icebergs. Has anybody, anybody ever heard an iceberg crack? Let me tell you, it is quite startling if you're ever in the area, okay? And it's really cool because they're like nine times bigger on the bottom than what they are on the top. So, I mean, and they can be pretty monstrous. I've actually seen icebergs that are like their own islands, okay? They can be like up to like, I've seen them up to six miles in length. And they have waterfalls, they have seals, they have all the birds that really just like make their own little ecosystem on it. And it is pretty darn cool, right? But they come, and because we're from a Newfoundland, what happens is they, they're so big in the bottom, um, as they pass through the St. Lawrence Current, they can get kind of stuck in the bottom of the actual floor of the sea. And then what happens is um, the sun beats down on the top of it, and then it continues to melt and melt and melt. That's how you get those waterfalls. And then what happens is after a while, the big, the big booty on the bottom, it just kind of like flips, right? It's amazing. Has anybody ever seen that? It is so, so cool. All right, so I'm going to start with that right there. Put my milk paint aside. Deborah says, I tried to place an order. It said you do not ship to Santa Ana, Texas. I fixed that. We don't. That's been fixed. Thank you for letting us know. Yeah. You guys know that we uh, brought out an entirely new web system this week which is really super, super cool. And because you guys let us know that when you get errors like that, we're able to tweak it and get it working just right. So today I was able to talk to the system, get it right. So give it a shot when we're done here, girl. And I think we got you fixed up, okay? And then of course we have a number on our website. So if you ever need immediate assistance, call us there as well. I am looking for my scissors, okay. So this is a classic example of, dare I say, oh my God, she's gonna paint the wooden chair, the 1950s wooden chair. Okay, so I went to my awesome local watering hole, which is like a flea teak, okay? And it's all made up of booths, all right? This chair is gorgeous. I've been seeing it there for a long, long time. You guys know that I'm a girl on a budget. I like to treasure hunt, and I generally like to find things in the 5 to 10 to 15, you know, maybe 25 and 50 if it's like super, super amazing, okay? Been looking at this chair for a while. You can see here, it was marked at $58, okay? And so for all the brownie frowny uh, chair wood lovers out there that say, oh my God, you're gonna paint it. Well, poor old Mary here in her booth, she couldn't sell this chair for $58, okay? Today I went there, she had it marked on the 30 and half price of that, which means I got this chair for 15 bucks, okay? So you wood loving people, nobody was gonna take it home. But you know what? Sonia's gonna take it home and we're gonna paint it today, all right? So that's what we're gonna do. You evil I'm witch. so evil. I know. I am. Okay. I embrace it. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. So what's everybody out there saying and doing? Let me see here. Now, I will tell you, for those of you who um, get used to, uh, what are you laughing at now? Come on. Let me they want to see you. They want to see you. We've been getting requests. They want to see how you do your hair with the headband. Sure. I can do that. It might be a total mess, but we can go with it too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what was going to say? So for those of you who do, uh, who like like to paint, I will tell you the most awful thing that you can paint is a chair. Do you know why? Because it has all these parts, okay? Anything that have all these, like, especially lots of round pieces, like the legs or, like, dowels and that sort of thing, 
is a pain in the booty because they turn. You turn and you go, how did I miss that whole section? So um, if you started painting a chair and you're like, my God, I hate painting furniture, I bet you if you switched up to something like right here, like a buffet or something like that, you'll be like, okay, this is much better because you got lots of flat surface to go on, okay? But let's get started. Let's get chippy with it. All right, I'm not gonna go ahead. I'm not gonna use the extra bond. I don't know what it's gonna do, but you know, the heck with it. Oh, I need a before picture. I need a before picture. I have a before picture. You got a before picture of my chair? I don't know. What are you talking about then? I don't know. Oh my. Okay, somebody take a screenshot for me. Let me see if I have any space to take any of my camera. I'm very sleepy this Valentine's Day. Yeah, I can tell. So what are we gonna do when we go out for like steak and like, you know, carb overload? Hibernation. Oh my goodness gracious. Listen, I am not a fortune teller, but I do see some steak. Maybe a baked potato in my future. This paint goes on so creamy, guys. Are you seeing that? Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, my Lord. All right, so we're going to go and make this one really cutesy. All right, because I know, when I look at it, too, with the size of it, it's like a bit of a, even though it's an adult chair, it just feels like it's a little bit of a smaller chair. It's like an auditorium which, chair. Which, you know what? I think they had smaller furniture back in the day. In the I don't 50s? Know. Yeah. Yes, because everybody was tiny in the 50s. Right, that was before we started eating, like, I don't know, McDonald's, you know? Those sorts of things. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, we just, uh, we're just we just really? a little bit more chunky monkeys now. No, really? I'm serious. The furniture is smaller back then. <laughs> what? For reals? No. Um, are, you, are you making fun of me? Yes. Why are you making fun of me? Because I can. Because you can. Yes. Yeah, for sure. All right, so what do you guys think so far? So remember, you it's, can customize it's, your pink. It's pink. Yep, Petunia Pink. This is our own custom Petunia Pink. Three uh, three scoops of the white to one scoop of the, um, what would we say, the red ochre, right? Oh, before I forget, let me say, because this is going to be quick tonight. What? For your chance mm -hmm. at receiving the day, what is this, day six? Yeah. The day six mystery, jump monkey mystery gift. Share this to your, share this right now mm -hmm. and type it to the underneath that you shared. And you will be entered to win the day six. Jump Monkey Mystery. And everybody else, we still love you. And you know what? You're going to win because Matt's going to give you all a life lesson. I'm sure he's got one in there, right? Come on, Mr. Marine. You got one in there, right? No, no, you just want to give somebody some life lessons. I don't lessons. feel like waxing poetic today. What? Come no. on. You've always got something to say. <laughs> Come on. See? Do you see how he giggles when I say that? Yeah. True story. All right. There we go. There we go. I just, my yeah. day is, my day is not complete until I ruin somebody else's. Oh, you're so bad. I know it's terrible, you're but it's so the truth. bad. I'm it's that so type bad. of person. I'm sorry, it takes all kinds in this world. Right. And, and I'm, I'm that guy. You just like to push it. I do. You like to push your luck, don't you? Yeah. yeah. All right, I added a little bit of water, if you just heard that. I don't know if Matt showed it or not, but I added a little bit of water to my container um, just because like I say as you go on the paint's even going to get thicker because it sets up and all the pigments disperse throughout the liquid so I like to keep it a little flowy but this guys is like what can I describe it like oh my gosh wow. it is like smooth we, we have a question from Pat Rodriguez Pat what's your question girl what type of bristles do you suggest on a brush well I have found recently this awesome brush that is made in the Netherlands so it's super special and I've been talking with the owner and I'm very happy to be able to be somebody who can make them available here locally what are you doing now back there I'm like covering the uh, lens with this seat my Seriously, finger what are you my doing? fingers but it's called the Klingon and uh, I had different sizes come and they're gonna be added to my website this is actually called a wet brush, and um, it took me a long time to find a brush that I really, really like because I'm pretty picky. I do a lot of shabby painting, but what are you laughing at now? Linda, Linda, Linda. Okay, all right. I was going to say, what do you mean? Of course I'm picky when it comes to my paintbrushes, yeah. you know? Somebody's asking if they can pre-order the Klingons. Yes, message me at um, junkmonkeypaint.com. Sorry, junkmonkeypaint at mm. gmail.com. That's my email. And I will put you on the list, okay? And, Vicky uh, Sheridan, but it takes Alabama! It takes 10 days for me to get them, So, and then we'll have them regularly after that. But if you want to get um, some in the first bundle that we have coming, send me a message. I will put you on the list and uh, get you squared away. All right, but they're awesome. So you, you actually suspend it in water, and once I get them, I'll di do a whole demonstration of how you clean them. They're self-cleaning, okay? Seriously, self-cleaning. So it's pretty cool. But I love that. So it's drying. Let's go around the back here now. Do you want to come around the back with me? 
Yeah. So Linda, Linda, Linda's on here, huh? Uh-huh. What's Linda, Linda, Linda doing? She's picking. She's in California. She says that I may be the number two button pusher, but she's number one. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys can compete with that pretty well, right? Uh, do you keep these colors in your store? Yes. This is a mix between two milk paint colors, yep. white and red. So you mix the pigments together. So you mix them together and develop your own uh, color. Yeah. yeah. So think about this. You could create your own custom color. And, you know, if you're somebody out there, I know we have tons of furniture people who follow our page and they do it for a living, right? That's how I started doing it. That's what I still do. And, um, you know, there are people out there that would what, want to paint them for themselves. And there are lots of people out there that will pay you to paint it for them. So if you're somebody like that, you can create your own custom, you know, colors based for your own clients, you know, if you know what they like. So if you're in yeah, a beachy you can area. Yeah, your own custom color. Yeah, on. nobody will ever know. Yeah. Everybody like Use your Junk Monkey milkshake mix. Can you believe somebody tried to call me while I'm live? What? Who's calling you? Seriously? You actually got friends who call you? No. What? It, it's, um, it's the people going, your car warranty is about to expire. Would you like to speak to somebody? Yeah, I get that too. Oh, it drives me nuts. Yeah, the robocalls. Um, I meant, can I come to your store and buy these colors in stock? Yes. And yes. Yes. If you're looking for a particular color, call ahead. So we can have it ready when you get here yep. because we sell so much and people come in. So we have a lot of people yeah. that call beforehand and make sure it's on hand. Our business is very much a handmade business. So, yes. um, you know, think about when you go to a bakery and, uh, yeah. you know, that's why I say we are not Amazon Prime. There are no robots, although we wish we had robots. No, there are no robots. It is us who uh, basically make the paint we make happen. The donuts. We make the paint happen. <laughs> yeah. And when the donuts are gone for the day, they're gone for the day. So then Matt has to make more in the next day. And then day, I got to right? make more donuts. Yeah, and we got to get them all out and get them all ready. Mm-hmm. So, um, but yeah, if you know you're coming, let us know because we ship every day. So for the person, if you want to show them the box, for the person who's like, yeah. what's all that behind you? Yes, oh, look at the boxes. We're this, yeah, this is my job today. tonight, okay? Yes. I got to fill all those boxes. We've been. Getting the boxes built today for the next phase of shipping that goes out tomorrow, guys. You guys have been keeping us busy, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, so everything we have online, you can order it online and uh, get it to you that way. But if you're local, Friday through Sunday, 11 to 4 is our hours that we're open to the public. Oh, dang. This, I'm going to tell you, this goes on like like butter, like smooth butter. And I'm just so but, uh... It is, right? Would you ever piece. paint Tiger Wood? I am thinking about... Yep, done it many times. Yeah, we, we have done it. Um, a lot of times the Tiger Wood that you run into is not real Tiger Wood. It's just a veneer. That's uh, the bird's eye maple as well. You find that in a lot of the waterfall uh, furniture. Can so, I just tell you what else I like to do with uh, when you get like the, the striping of the wood? And it is cool, right? You want to keep it? Mm-hmm. You can actually just paint the frame of your dresser, right? Yeah. Instead of having to cover it all over, like... I love, one of my favorite colors that I love using with Tiger Eye is a color we have called Blue Slate. It is a beautiful denim blue. And if you paint the frame of your dresser, pull out your drawers, and then go over your drawers and just oil those up with, for example, the um, clear monkey shine polish. Really just revive the wood so it's really nice and just juicy. You know what I'm talking about? Beautiful wood. And then, what? What's wrong? I see the people uh, are driving up the street and walking, me or what? and walking by and they're doing the gawk. Oh, as the they drive up the road and walk up the road. Yes, probably. So, what um, are those people doing in there? Yes. Yeah. They know. We are the equivalent of the likely up in the window. Yeah, they know. <laughs> what are they doing in there? They just like being nosy. Yeah. As we say in the Pittsburgh area, yeah, you're a bit nebby. Yeah, yeah, so, right. Anyways. That is definitely a word. Yeah. So I'm gonna what are you doing? This. Nothing. I'm nabbing. Yeah. Yeah. The first time um, I met somebody who said, and I said, I was working an event at my corporate job before <laughs> I got to leave my corporate job and do what I love and, uh, you know, make my hobby my full time job. And I it was um, an event, and the gentleman came in, and I've, I had just moved here to the area. And I said, Hi, I'm Sonia. How can I help you? And he said, Oh, I'm just Snebby. And I said, oh, hi, Nebby, nice to meet you. <laughs> we got refreshments over in the corner. And he just like, you ain't from around here, girl, are you? I'm like, nope, no, I'm not. So uh, there is a little bit of learning curve, right, when you yeah. move. Neb knows, yeah, there you go. Funny. Oh, you guys definitely have your own language down here, that's for sure. Yes. You know, your own foods, your own language. What's a word that, uh, throw out a word that you guys kind of say locally, and we'll guess if we can figure out what it means. Yeah. What's a good one? 
So netty means nosy here, right? I'm trying to think. What's another good one that we have around here? Oh, I've been here for too long. Now it's all starting to sound normal to me. Um, can you think of another one that's really like Pittsburghese? Red up. Red up. Yes. Red up. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. When you red yes. up, you uh, you're cleaning up. That's a, that's a German thing. Redding up the house. Yeah, redding up the house. Yep. Um, For sure. Yeah, rubbernecker. Yeah, that's that's one. Um, All right. Dang, I just love this so much, guys. You heard just heard me say it, right? That's my key. When I get to a point where stove I go, I love up. it so much. Stove up your finger like you hurt your finger. What like does stove, stove up your finger like mean? Like stoving your finger means jamming your finger. Okay. Slippy, that's a good local one. Fritches, gum band. Gum band. I went to the Marine Corps and I was saying gum band oh, for like, oh, like eight, a band? eight years when I got out into the fleet. And by the third year, somebody finally figured out what, what I was saying when I was asked for a gum band. They just Funny ignored me stuff. the rest of the time. Gum band. Oh, you mean rubber band. <laughs> Caddy yeah. Wampus. We use that one here, too. Caddy Wampus. Yins. Yep. Yeah, Yins. I'm just going to darken up a few of the areas with a second coat in places. I'm going for distress, so, you know, I'm not looking for perfect. So I just like to give it a brush over, darken it in some areas, leave it light in others. Is there, is there somewhere you're missing Love it. Paint? Where do you see it? That's quite Somebody possible. That's why I have friends who tell me if I'm missing a spot. Oh, no, I'm looking, um, I'm looking. All right. Or is that just auto program for yourself? Pop instead of soda, yeah. yeah. All right. I, I find the older I get, the more I use soda, though. Up home, we call it drink. Okay, yeah. up home in Newfoundland, we'll just say, I'm going to go down to the store and get some drink. Yeah. Well, drink pop refers right soda. Yeah. Yeah. Wobbly pop. Uh, jag off. Yeah, that's the whole thing. Jag off. You, you know, you're. Is that just Pittsburghese? Or is that like. It's, it's now kind of spread, spread across the nation. Uh, yeah. You jag. Yeah, we don't yeah. say that back where I'm from, but um, that is definitely something I've yeah. heard down here. Anybody follow the Pittsburgh dad? He cracks me up. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What fur? Yeah. What fur? Yeah, oh my okay. gosh. Well, I got the Newfoundland. It's like, but I, I think it's not so much your, uh, well, you do have some words and you use some turn of phrases up there. It's the fact you guys talk so fast. Right. And you cut off letters. Right. And this they, is... this is the freaky thing. I almost freaked out is, um, when I was first in Newfoundland. Is they talk when they inhale. Right. Do you know how scary? We can say a lot. Yeah. Do you okay. know how we scary it is to hear somebody saying words as they're inhaling? <laughs> I think so. I think they're dying. Right. I thought. I thought there was something wrong. Creek for creek. Yeah. Creek. Yes. Oh, I hate that word because I think it is a creek. At what point do you call it a creek? Okay. It's a creek. No, it's a creek, dude. It's a creek. No, it is not. All right. So guys, real quick. So I used up the bottom. I could probably add a little bit of water if I really needed any, any extra, but I'm just going to leave it where I am right now. So this took me all in total four tablespoons, three of the white, one of the red, okay? So think about how far one of those packages goes, okay? So in your mind, honestly, we always say one package is one standard size piece of furniture that you can paint with it, or you can get like a couple little pieces out of it, smaller pieces. Um, but if you're familiar with the chalky style paint, it's going to go that far as well, okay? Just so you kind of have a visual. All right, let's put the brush. Strublish, yeah, messy. In water. Yeah, your hair is uh, strublish, yeah. Striblish? Striblish, it's German. Uh, Diane Horn said that. You know, know what my favorite, uh, you know, when your hair is bad? You know what my favorite one back home is? Uh, your hair is like a birch broom in the fits. Yeah. Did you ever hear that? Yeah. That's so, so true, right? That's like, like Linda. Everybody knows that H-I-L-L -L is a heel, not a hill. <laughs> <laughs> Hill bread. Yeah. Well, what was what was one German term I grew up with? It's like my thing. Verausdienisch. You know, when somebody's not being serious, mm -hmm. it, it literally means you're assing them. Really? Yeah. Verausdienisch. Okay. So. I have means, to learn that one. Yeah. Verausdienisch. Give that one back to yeah. you. Yeah. It means you're kidding, right? And it literally means you're assing them. Like, <laughs> Verausdienisch. Right? I get it. I get it. I don't know. Maybe we should just have Dirty German Word Day on, uh, on Jump Monkey uh, Tape Ooh, Night. Oh, scandalous. <laughs> scandalous. Yeah. Uh, price on brush and paint. Uh, milk paint is 16 a yep. pack. And the brush, um, well, I think the, it's, it'll be priced at right around 20 Yeah, the Klingons will be on 20 yep. The regular chippy brushes are, what, a dollar? 
Yeah, $1.25. $1.25. Yep. And then the round wax brushes are 20 or 19 Yes. Yep. Yeah. I'll show you how to use those too. So as long as you're keeping your tools good, one of the things that we have online, I don't know if you guys saw it, but is there there is a brush cleaner if you hit the tools section. It's $5 for what looks like a stick of butter, but it's actually a soap that's specialized for cleaning, and it conditions the bristles of your brushes, but it also cleans. Um, so it just keeps your brushes longer for you. Yeah. So I would definitely encourage you to think about getting that. Plus, you don't really want to be washing your brushes when you're doing a lot of furniture painting in anything that's like oil-based, meaning like soapy-based, right? Because you get oils on your brush and um, oils repels and it can cause lots of problems for you if you put, if you get oil transferred from your brush to your piece. All right, got a couple questions. Does the monkey scoop come with paint? No, sorry. No, uh, that was a find, okay? That was okay. a special find at the Dollar General for all of a dollar something. Yes. But I thought they were so can, cute, I had to get them. Can Canadians order off the web page or they do we will have be to wait? This week you got to wait for the .ca site. Yep. You have to do it. We gotta, we're building it behind the scenes, and we'll release it here probably over the next maybe 24 hours or so. It'll be finished, but we got to get everything in place. And so yep. it will be just this week. You guys will get it, though. Right. Yay! I know. I heard from uh, one of our followers in Canada. They're like, I can't wait. I've just been waiting. And uh, it's coming. It's definitely coming. So this is cool. You want to take a look at the top real fast? We never know what milk paint will do, right? It is called the uh, unpredictable that's paint. Yeah, look how it cracked like that, right? That's pretty well, cool. that's the wood grain itself. It shows up the darkness in the pink. I love it. Yeah. I love it. I love it. All right, and so then we can go ahead and we can distress. So obviously, last night we had a piece that was so shiny that it was like, dang, the milk was on the floor, right? The milk paint was on the floor, but we brought it back together with some extra bonds. And now, this piece, it sucked it in really, really well. But when we distress, I bet you we're going to get some chipping around the edges, okay? Can so it use, won't just look like distress. Can you use round brushes with the polycrylic seal? Can you use round brushes? Uh, no. I would not use, because when you use a round buck brush, it's because you're, you're waxing, right? To get the wax down into the pores. Poly actually sits on top of your piece. It pulls in but it leaves a top layer, and that's why you get brush marks, right? Hit that back again, right? Yeah, we'll let it set up. Okay. I don't think so. I, don't, you know, I'm gonna go light because I want it to be heavier in places and light in another because I'm going to stress. Okay, Sonia, so, Sonia is originally from the Sea, Newfoundland, yep. Canada. Yep, anybody know where that is? All right, so there we go. Let's go ahead and put that there. Let it's me grab in Canada. Nice sand pads. <laughs> Hang on tight, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Do you Any make moment? the milk paint at your shop too? Everything comes from here. Yep, this is the headquarters for the milk paint and the chalky style paint. Um, the chalky style paint you guys have known and love. It's, we've been, actually, it's been around for quite some time, um, since 2015. But uh, we did it really just kind of for locals, right? And then over the last probably half a year, we started making it available to everybody. And it goes all over the country now, right? Same with the milk paint. So we're super excited to give you guys, this is a space to come to get all kinds of inspiration, free inspiration, um, to do different techniques, right? Um, Carol, we're going to be, um, as we sell, get low on the uh, brushes, we'll be ordering more. Yep. Um, so it should be, you should be getting them in like twice a month, I believe. What's up? The cling on brushes? Ten days. Yeah, ten days. It takes us ten days to get an order. It's in. coming from the Netherlands. It's coming yeah. from the Dutch lady. I'm from Holland. This is that deal. <laughs> this paint is so easy. It's all natural. So it's awesome to work around, but also it's so easy to distress. Let's go ahead and put some distress marks up here. Mm. Do you see how, like, when I take my brush over, or my pad over? Hang on. Let me come up. Let me get... Let me yep. Get, and these are get, available as well mm, on mm, our website at junkmonkeypaint.com. But it chips it, right? It's yeah. distressing, but it's also chipping it. So that's the reason why milk paint is so awesome is because you get these big pieces that fall out of it. So it's just so easy to be able to work with. So remember, the more shinier your piece, the more chippy. Yeah. And if you don't want chippy, but you just want all natural, just add some extra bond. Yeah. So think about, you can even get some cool conco concoctions, there's that word again, cool concoctions of um, just even, I'm trying to think like, if there's parts where you want to put on some, we talked about chippy, the chippy hippie juice in the beginning, maybe tomorrow we'll do another uh, piece with chippy hippie to show you. But let's say, for example, I put chippy hippie juice, maybe just only on one section, then that side is going to get the weird, you know, just amazing yumminess of all sorts that can kind of happen, the unpredictableness. 
Um, so, you know, that's kind of cool because when you have an old chair, you don't know, you know, you'll get cracking, you'll get all kinds of different um, patterns with your paint. All right, so anyways, um, let's do this. This will be the last call to go out and share this video and write share on the bottom and you'll be eligible for today's Jump Monkey Mystery gift. Yep, we'll announce your name, so don't go anywhere. Yep, you have to be present to win. And guys, I'm thinking a stencil, right? I'm thinking this chair needs a little stencil to make it cute. So that's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna go ahead and jazz it up a little bit. And I'll show you the one I'm thinking of using. And you tell me if it was a good picker or not, okay? All right, there we go. I'm happy with that. All right, maybe I should bring this down the floor so everybody can kind of see. See where we're at. Let me push this out of the way. Oh gosh. Alright, what do you guys think? Can you see that chair? How awesome is it looking? It's, bye bye, brownie brownie. It's pink. it's pink, right? It's, it's pretty. It's, it's like a blushy pink. It's pink. Guys, I was thinking, like, <laughs> I was thinking as well that if we were to use like the salmon, the wild salmon and a white, because the wild salmon has like an orange sort of red, I think that will give us a beautiful, 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 boop, coral color. <laughs> oh my God, too much. All right, let's see here. It's been a long day. Oh man, oh man. Today is the day of love, people. Thanks for watching. Today's the day of tolerance. Today, it, whatever. <laughs> okay. All right. So here's what I was thinking. How about a, a Parisian style? Something that says Paris, right? For Because I can totally see this blush pink going to somebody who's going to love girly stuff, right? So I'm thinking about putting it right here. What do you think? Was that a good call? That's you like really it? really good. Well, now you're going to have to put something on the back of the chair, too. Yeah. No. What yes. are you talking about? Maybe put the crown on the top, the Paris on the butt. I could do that. Yeah. But I don't know if I'm, I will. I'm talking about balance. Okay. All right. I just don't know if I will. You're about to set my OCD uh, into overdrive. What are we going to do with you? How what many coats of paint uh, and is the milk paint durable? It's yes. very durable. Um... When you put your sealer what on is that? it, yeah. there's like one in a one. So little, like, like, I mean, coats. this is yeah. a coarse sand pad, and the milk paint is on there right that's how durable it is plus you're gonna seal it so if you have people that come over to your furniture and want to do this then like I say you should not be friends with them okay because they just they just don't appreciate good stuff all right so there we go we got our stencil down here I'm gonna put it right here in the seat I'm gonna put it on the seat. I think you need to put the parasol no. further back like you know well, the paint listen on the listen. Uh, sweatshirt sweatpant butt and put the crown on the back Can you just trust and me you got seriously now listen you got your you know, way the other night you did this to me she I'm never gonna listens do it this to way. me I'm going to do it this nope, way. Yeah, never listens absolutely. to me. How about we put this on here, and <laughs> then we go find some black and pink polka dot bow or like shab sort of uh, well, you already got a crown. How you, cute the would that be, crown's got to be on top. Well, I've also got some bling bling. I could run some bling bling up here if I really wanted to. That'd be pretty cool, right? That would be freaking cool. Uh, All right, so let's lay this on here. Oh, uh, i got to go find here. friends with testosterone because this you is can, killing me. Yeah, right? Seriously. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, we're gonna lay that right here. Let me just see so I can stare at it in the front and get it. All right. What are you giggling about? At least tell me what you're I'm just about. laughing. All right. I don't know. He could be saying something about me on there for no, all no, 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 no. It's just when you think about it, when you think about your life choices, where you ended up. You just kind of right. Yeah. Listen, you love me. <laughs> you loved me. <laughs> Let's just be honest here. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So what I'm doing is now I'm using a little bit of our chalky style well, listen, original paint. Did you make it to Goodwill today? What? Did no, to Goodwill I did today? not make it to my Goodwill today. Today was the, uh, thanks for reminding me though. Babe, where we're going out tonight, Goodwill might be open in that area. Janet says, give him that. It's Valentine's Day. No, you, you need yeah, to Yeah, Janet, hear, you tell him. You, should, you obviously didn't hear my rant at the beginning about Valentine's Day. All right, we'll have to go back. All right. <laughs> All right, so I am using our black velvet. It's the pre-mix yeah, that we yeah, make yeah, here. Yeah. So the milk paint, of course, yeah, you mix yeah, up yeah, yourself. Yeah. The chalky style yeah, paint yeah, that we yeah. have comes pre-made that we make, hand make, hand pour, yeah, 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 hand yeah, chip. Yeah. Hence why we're always covered in paint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This nissel came from Hobby Robbie. No, it didn't. Oh, it didn't? Nope. Maison de Stencils? Nope. Dang, you know your stuff, though. Is you it know? our stencil? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Oh, did we have this one available? Yeah, we do. I think do we, we do. Do we still have this available? I think we might. 
I think we might. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. This is part of a... Some, I, you might be able to find it online if you Google too, but if, I tell you what, when I'm done, I'll put up a link for it. How about that? Yeah. So you guys yeah, can yeah, find yeah, it. Yeah, find yeah. the very same Just one. Just to let you know, we have 10%, so about 10 to 15 minutes. So. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Don't do Valentine's in this house. Too commercial. There you go. You've been hanging out with Matt. Yeah. Me and Carol ain't can hang out. There you go. We'll, we'll, we'll go have, sit there and be miserable. We'll go have beers and be dinner. Sit there and be miserable. Yeah. Listen, I don't know. You're getting steak tonight. That's pretty darn cool, cool right? Well, so, that's a little bit more in line of, you know, a traditional Valentine's Day, you know? Yes. I just want to do... I'm going to do a steak. Okay, here's the question. What do you guys do with your steak? Do you like it? Like, God, I hate it when I see people do their steak and it looks like it's just a pink mess on their plate. It looks like the cow is still me... I was going to say, I'm still meowing, still <laughs> mooing on the plate, right? Oh, I can't do that. I'm more of like a medium person. Yeah. And it took me a long time to even work up to that um, because, you know, I think I would really overcook everything. All right, let's take a look here. Boom! What do you guys think? All right, pretty in pink. I like it. I could totally see this um, in a girly type space. But it's today of love, right? So we're totally going pink. Pretty and pink. Give me hearts if you think you like that. Just using my shabby chip brush, of course, um, I tell you guys, that's one of my ways I cheat when I want distress style, is I use a brush like this. Um, because what happens is the brushes are so stiff that they kind of just like spread apart. Do you kind of see them sticking up there? Mm -hmm. And so what happens is it leaves lines and it just helps you create a very, you know, distressed looking. Plus we can distress it some more in just a second. Mm -hmm. All right, let me go ahead. I'm going to stick this brush in water as well. Let me go ahead and dry this real fast. So Lana and uh, Hey Lana. Rita are new here. Lana and Rita, welcome aboard, girls. Oh my, Lana, frying garlic butter. Oh. I don't. No, 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 this no. Good. No, add that at the end. You don't want to burn your butter. There's nothing worse than, than black and butter. Really? Well, yeah. that really burns my biscuits. Yeah, the bitterness. You know, you burn the garlic and the butter. It's bitter. I love garlic. I, love that. I do. Yeah. Plus, it keeps the vampires away. You know, that was like, that's the first thing that I used to teach my people. Don't add the garlic and butter till the end. All right, I'm going to make sure it's dried. Never put your hand in front of a heat gun. This is not a hair dryer. Ask me how I know that. Yeah, don't do it. <laughs> All right, I'm just doing I'm just doing the finger test to make sure that everything is dry and nothing else is coming off. So let me go ahead and grab my sand pad and just kind of like make this blend a little bit more because I've gotten the stress style, so I don't want that to pop too much, right? I don't want it to be perfect. I want it to look like it's you know it's missing places. I want things to look like it's really been used. Dana. And on the butt of a chair, it will be used. Dana said, my husband came home with roses and chocolate. Ooh. And he's cooking supper for me. Oh, that's awesome. See, guys can do that on Valentine's Day. Yeah. Any other day we, we come home and try yeah. to do that. Yeah. It gets treated with suspicion what? and contempt. Yeah. You, wonder, you guys wonder what we did wrong. Oh, my goodness gracious. Well, see, you got to do it more. You got to no. do it more. Not just on Valentine's Day. Don't tell me that. Tell them, people. Tell them. Tell me that. I'm just using a brush here just to kind of wipe away any of the um, dust from what I was just um, sanding with. Yeah. All right, guys. You know what's left to do with this piece? Guess. Tell me. What do we got to do? We got to see you, babe. We do. You're learning, babe. You're totally learning. Hey, you Lori. you out with me before you know it, yeah. you'll be doing Facebook yeah. Lives. Everybody's saying about the garlic. Yeah, garlic, if you're going to cook with garlic, uh -huh. um, especially in high heat and fry situations or in you know olive oil when you're sautéing, Yep. Always add the garlic as you kill the heat, because if not, you're going to brown that garlic. It's going to get bitter. Um, a little bit different when you're dealing with roasted garlic, but uh, stick with me. Stick with me. I, I will, uh, <laughs> He'll hook you up. I'll hook you up. I'll teach you the ways of the kitchen. Thank goodness. Guys, do you see how nice and vibrant this is coming? So this is the seal we're putting on the chair. Do you have to seal it? No. I like the seal because it revives the paint and it kind of brings it back. It makes it look really, really sharp. It brings it back to the true color it was because we kind of dulled it down, right, with all that distressing that we did with the sand pad. And so your two ways to seal, of course, are going to be going the way of like something like poly or something like a wax, okay? So we make a monkey shine. This is an all-natural, non-toxic, clear, like a polished sealer that you would use for your furniture. We'll show you how to use it here real fast. But it's nice because you don't have brush strokes and watch the magic as it happens, okay? These brushes are also available 
on our website at JustMonkeyPaint.com. So I'm pushing the wax down into the wood pores, down into the wood pores. And so I'm going to work my way all the way around and all over it. All right, let's go ahead, get it on the top up here. You guys see the difference in that? What is my favorite way to cook, cook a steak? Depends on the steak. Like if you got a hanger steak, I like to crust it in a, an espresso, uh, uh, espresso cayenne crust and sear it and then cook it off and then flank steaks I like to marinate and then uh, you know uh, other cuts I just it depends on what it is uh, there's different preparations for different cuts yes ask Matt anything you have chef Matt in the house tonight there, there you, you go. go you have an award-winning chef you can uh, ask me anything <laughs> ask him anything okay we're talking paint and food tonight because you know what both of them just are the spice of life right now I'm using a wax rag that I have. You guys can use them over and over again. These are rags that, like I said, mine, I've been working with this one, that's okay. There's still lots of life left in it and then I'm gonna wash them out, of course, separately from my clothes. But what you do is you've just put the, you know, it's the whole karate kid, right? You wax on and you wax it off, all right? So we've waxed it on with the brush. And now we take it off. Anything that did not get down into the wood pores, you're gonna take that top layer off, okay? Because you don't want it feeling oily or weird or sticky or anything, right? So we wipe the top. You can turn your cloth again, so that way you keep having a clean section to work with. And when it's done, it's just a beautiful feel to your piece, okay? So I'm gonna keep working my way around, and that's what I would do. No can, brush strokes. Can that's you use the wax as a sealer with regular Junk Monkey chalk paint? Absolutely. You sure can. Yep. Absolutely can. Yep, we have it set up so you can use it for both. So this is really nice though, because um, especially with the milk paint line, you know, if one of the reasons why you love using the milk paint is because you're sensitive and you really want to just make sure you have an all natural product, so it's kitchen safe, doggy safe, mama safe, um, that you could actually have a wax that, or you know, a sealer that works the same way. So it has no solvents in it, no chemicals in it, and uh, it's just awesome to work with. But look how nice that is. What brush do you use for glazing? For glazing, what I do is I use my shabby chip brush. And so for the glazing, are you talking about maybe our um, antiquing so. glaze? Yeah, yeah, so. Okay, so in our chalky line of paint, you can also use it on milk paint just to let you know that all our products all work together, right? Yeah. So for example, you know, even though I've shown you how to make dark wax, if you guys love and you need to go the way of sealing with the poly, you can also use not, wet, not tinting your wax, but yeah. use our pre-made antiquing glazes, okay? So what I would do is I brush it on. Uh, once my paint is dry, mm -hmm. and then I take a damp rag and wipe it off. Uh, I but I use a shabby chip brush. We were running low. I want to pick a winner yep, go real ahead. quick. Yep. So I'm going to pick a winner. Okay. And uh, Sonia's been trying to get me to do a cooking segment. I just... Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of in the air about You guys that. need to encourage him, okay? No, encourage know. him. Tell him that, you know what, I don't know about uh, you. You know, you don't realize sometimes um, how special you are. Like, I can't cook. I can't grow things. I can paint anything but and make it look gorgeous. But I cannot cook and I cannot garden. He's been blessed with a cooking gene, okay? So he needs to, like, help the rest of us out, right? You guys Today's winner. Him. Today's winner is Maggie Booker. Maggie. Maggie Booker, if you're on here, please speak up. And uh, we'll give you instructions here. Maggie, Maggie, Maggie Booker. See if she's in the house. All right, guys. What do you think? Do you love it? Give me hearts. Give me a yes. I love it. So the wax is so easy to use. The clear coat. Um, just put it on, buff it off, and then like already it smell <laughs> smells. It smells great. Already it feels like just buttery smooth. And then of course leaving it overnight so it continues to pull into. Um, your piece just leaves you with a great seal, but always use a poly if you need something that's a little bit more durable in this case I have a chair. I've distressed it. I'm not trying to make it look perfect, right? All right, so Maggie use this. You need to email us at jumpmonkeypaint at gmail.com with your vitals With so, your vitals. <laughs> so we can send you yeah, your address so we can send you uh, your gift. Awesome. There we yes, go. Yes, give us your social security bank account number uh, and we'll get you in touch with the Nigerian prince. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Just send us your uh, address to Jump Monkey Paint. You're so bad. So bad. At gmail.com. All right, guys. Well, we will log. La, 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 log. La, la, log. We will log off of la, here la, tonight. La, 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 la
so anyway, you guys have a great evening, the evening of love. Hopefully you learned lots tonight. You got inspired. If you need any of the, the tools that I use, be sure to go to junkmonkeypaint.com. And if you need anything, just send me an email at junkmonkeypaint at gmail.com, okay? Sound good? All right, thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing as well, helping somebody else that just needs a little bit of encouragement to let them know that it really ain't that hard, right? You can do it too. All right, see you tomorrow. See ya, bye. Same time, same place, same back cave. Yep.